Recording video drums into multi-track is one of the best ways to achieve and do a professional drum recording. I'm Musical. You're welcome back to another episode of this video. In this video, I'll be walking you through how to record Easy Drama 3 into multi-track. In this one, I love doing this mostly because I'll be able to manipulate and uh, do a custom design and tone um, for my drum mix to suit the entire mix which I'm doing. I've done a video on how to print MIDI drum into multi-tracks, which I use addicted drums. At the end of this video, if you found it at the corner of this video, then I'll drop a link below where you can access the video directly. And before we move on, if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed and you enjoyed the content that I'm creating, please thumb up for me. So by doing this, you are telling YouTube that this channel is creating useful content. And don't forget to click the subscription button and all notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload any new video. So without wasting much of our time, I want to dive into this so you can see how I record Easy Drama 3 into multi-track. Easy Drama 3 is a bit difficult to do compared to Addicted Drum, which is straightforward and very easy access. But in this one, I walk us through how I'll be able to record into multi-track. So let's go there now. Firstly, what I'm going to do to is this is a drama three. Then going to the mixer, I'm going to show you the likely output that I have on the drums and that I'm going to use. And firstly, let me quickly play the drums um, for you a bit to see the most important one for me, which I'm going to use. Down from there to here, so I'm having the output here, all of these ones which I'm going to route together, all this one I'm going to send route out, kick in, kick out, kick sub. So one thing I'm going to show you here, if you would love to, you can route them together because the drum is already pre-mixed, it's a nice mixed one, nice mixed drums, whereby you can use it like that, but professionally I won't be able to do what I love to do with a drum. That's why um, I have to route them out. So the first thing, I'm not going to use output one or two because it's just the stereo output for the drums. But I'm going to use three, four upward. So I'm starting my kick from three, four, kick out, five, six, seven, eight, snare drum, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I'm going to speed up so we'll not waste much of our time. One thing I would love to explain here, from the output here, look at OH mono, ambience, and ambience mono. I'm routing them together. I really don't need much to do with those ones. So I'm going to send them out. They're going to come out with one stereo output, and it's already premixed. Watch the same thing you can do on the kick. Uh, let me show you the kick in, kick out, and kick sub. Some of the times I do route the kick in, kick out, and kick sub um, as a stereo output or mono output. However, but in this one, I just feel like, okay, routing them is separately. So depending on the choice that you really want. After that, I'm gonna close this one. Then I'm gonna create my input in Kickwalk by Bandlab. Then I'm going to click here, add multi-tracks. 
I have 17 tracks which I'm going to record from Easy Drummer. So I'm going to create 17 tracks. So then creating enable record button. Going to advance. I'm going to create folder. I'm going to create bus. All right. My tracks has been created. Then I'm going to do the routing into Easy Drummer 3. So one thing in which I'm going to do, which is going to guide me. So I'm going to start a routing. Before then, I'm going to do name, the name boss I created. Okay, I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to do the same thing here. I love giving a color blue for my drums. So I can also click like that and do the same thing from here. So I have my drums colored. I always love that. Then I'm going to be labeling each track first. Hit N. Now that I'm done naming, so I want to begin the routing drums. So starting from here, now one thing I'll need to explain here, each output has mono, left, mono, right, and stereo. So one thing you need to be very careful of, you have to be very careful not double routing in the same channel or the same track on another one. So you have to be mindful of that. I'm having three, four, or three, four as my first output. So if I want to write it, so I'm gonna click three L, which is three left. That's gonna serve as mono. Then I'm three, four, then five, six is the next one. So I'm gonna have it five, six. Also on five left. So my kick saw, seven, eight, so I'm going to select seven. So everything I'm selecting, they are basically mono. Okay. Snare button. Nine, ten. Nine. Snare top. Eleven, twelve. So it's going to sound good for eleven. Hit it. So thirteen, fourteen. So I'm gonna go have 13 left. I'm also gonna have 15s. 15 mono. 17 mono. 17 left. So this ride is gonna be in a stereo format. 25, 25, 26. You understand that now. How each also is in stereo format 25 26 is going to be 27 28 27 28 stereo i have the ambience mono and stereo together which are the mono room and the ambience so it's going to give me 29 30 so the crunch is going to give me stereo also that one 32 now i'm done with routing so the next thing for me is to record the drums into multi-track but before doing that i want to show you something on easy drummer um look at the hh has been pounded into the left side so i'm going to center that then the right i'm going to do the same thing for the right the reason why i'm doing this is to i'll be able to have my decision where to pan them to if i need to pan any one of them so let's go let's do the recording now
I'm done with recording of the drums now. So the next thing for me is to do is to play in the drums. Let's listen to how it sounds like. And mind you, let me tell you something about this one. The MIDI track which I already created, which is used to program the drums, I'm not going to delete the file just in case of any eventualities until I am confirmed and I'm rest assured of nothing to be corrected or nothing to be added into the drum recording. So not until then. But now let's just listen to what we have recorded. By clicking key button on the window, I'm going to melt the MIDI file. Then I'm turning off the record button. Okay, let's listen to that. That's all about how to record Easy Drama 3 into multi-track in Kickwalk by BandLab. If you really enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumb up for me and put down the comments below. Bye for now.